My name is Ricardo Miglarese. I'm a four stripe black belt under Helson Gracie and Phil Miglarese. Uh, I met Joe Pfeiffer when he was just yay big. He was about five years old. He came in, I think, on one of the grapplers' quests. And, uh, his father was training and he used to come in with his father all the time. And the day I met him, man, that kid was so polite. He was just in awe to be there. It was the first time I saw like a little kid actually wanting to be in a gym you know, doing some work. You know, usually they're looking for things to play with, but he actually wanted to like step on the mat, do the takedowns, do it. He just grew up, basically grew up in the gym. His dad, I know, was a, a, a boxer. So his hands were already good when he walked in at five years old. So Balance Studios started 2002. I've personally been doing jiu-jitsu for 24 years, going on 25 years. We started at a place called Maxercise. That was the first uh, jiu-jitsu studio, East Coast, in Philadelphia for sure. You can't not get better being with the guys that are in here. I mean, these are top level guys, top level jiu-jitsu. We have top level Muay Thai. We have top level D1 wrestlers coming from like University of Penn, all over the place. I mean, you get enough top level people that surround you. You know, you surround yourself around success, you're bound to be successful. So today we're coming into uh, Bounce Studios in Fishtown, and uh, today's going to be really a cardio day. Try to tax out the lungs, get as many rounds as possible. Uh, no gi, little gloves, and uh, see how long I can go. I think it's honestly one of the truest forms of friendship. You know, practice killing your friends, and then you hang out afterwards, and you guys are like, you know, care about each other. You can say it's similar in other sports, how there's physical sports and like football and wrestling and hockey. Guys become good friends and they build lifelong friendships. It's no different in MMA. The only difference is how people look at fighting. We don't look at fighting, you know, we're fighters. We don't look at fighting as just something so barbaric and violent. We look at it as like, this is part of life. You know, we love it. It's a good stress reliever and we have fun. You know, it's my hobby. We've developed as professional MMA athletes. So to us, you know, punch each other in the face and you know, practicing killing each other and all that stuff is just for fun. You know, we, we were doing it to get each other better. We're doing it to make each other get stronger and toughen each other up at the same time, so. Basil, I think I've known since I was 14. He's always been my number one teammate that I feel like we always had the best wars as far as jiu-jitsu. It was always uh, really intense. We always kept the intensity really high. Uh, he's my number one training partner when I come to Balance Studios. He's a good friend and a uh, great teammate. Jiu-Jitsu has already proven to be one of the most important aspects of MMA. I mean, they proved that in the UFC 1, 2, 3, and 4. People were totally oblivious. You know, they were, everybody knew karate, everybody knew kickboxing, everybody knew wrestling, everybody knew everything like that. But this mysterious martial art came in and it was just dominating. And people didn't know why. This sport is evolving into where it's wrestling and boxing, and uh, it's really about position. And jiu-jitsu is all about maneuvering uh, and leverage. So to have a good jiu-jitsu game, it can save you. You can be losing a fight and you catch a guy at a guillotine, you put him to sleep, um, or you you know you catch a guy at a kimura and break his arm. This is mixed martial arts. You can't go at it only having a couple pieces into the puzzle. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, what it does in MMA is allow you to have a whole other uh, spectrum of weapons that you could use, but aside from just doing striking, aside from just being able to knock somebody out, you know, if somebody mounts you on the ground or you get somebody taken down and they're in your guard, what would you do? If somebody that doesn't understand it, they wouldn't know. But Jiu Jitsu adds a whole other pocket to the game that you can choke somebody out, you can joint lock them, you can break their arm, you can do whatever you want, you can use transitions to get sweeps to get them on their back. So there's so many different things, it's just it, it helps open up your mind to understanding in every single position what to do, how to control a person, and get them to do what you want them to do.
Joe looks good in training camp. Joe's gonna go in there and perform well in the fight. I know I work my ass off, and I was like, he matches my work ethic, if not surpass it. So I'm like, there's no way this guy cannot be in the UFC. He deserves.